So today's at home workout with your qualified trainer is a 10 minute beginners workout. So how this is gonna work is we are doing all low impact moves. You don't need any equipment and this is gonna be a full body. It's a bit like doing a hip workout. So I'm gonna get you super healthy and fit. And the idea is I want to create workouts that are really fun, that are doable. So if you're ready, how it's gonna work, it's gonna take 10 minutes. We're gonna include your warm up, your workout and your cool down. So if you're ready to start investing in your future health, let's go started. So part one, the warm up, we're going to get started just follow along. So we're going to start with doing eight of these toe taps and you can just see at the bottom there, there's a timer bar. This is going to represent one minute. This is what we're going to be doing for your warm up. Now take it to eight of these heel digs and elbow bends. So the idea is with this first minute here, I just want to be mobilizing all your joints, getting you ready for the workout ahead. And now we're just going to do eight of these hamstring curls and arm pulls. And we're just also increasing your core body temperature. Now give me eight of these knee lifts with hand taps. And if you prefer not to have any coaching, then simply mute the video. And now take it to eight of these side steps and slowly increase the intensity with those arm pulls. And now we're gonna step that foot across and behind and also do those single arm reaches. So we're just increasing your body temperature. And now give me eight of these side step with double arm circles and keeping that going. So this is just about preparing your body for the workout ahead. So let's get ready, part two of the workout. So here's a preview of the first move. We're simply gonna be doing a tap back with your foot and then you are just gonna do some light punches in front. So let's get ready. We're doing this for a duration of 40 seconds, which is the timer on the right. So you've gotta keep that going to complete that circle. So this move here, what we're doing is we're gonna increase your heart health, we're working on your bone health, we're working on your flexibility, your mobility, we're getting you fit, we're getting you strong. So let's just keep going. We've got no repeaters, so it's a really fun workout. We're gonna keep going until that circle is complete and always make your health your priority. All right, that's good. Let's just keep that going until we've completed that full circle. So what I want you to do now is just follow along and now keep marching, but you can see the preview of the next move. So you can see we're just marching for 15 seconds and then we're going straight to that next move coming up. All right, that's good, keep marching. And now let's just change that intensity. So we're gonna make it a little bit hard now. Again, complete the circle. Do those side taps, but now bring in those arms. So as a beginner to fitness, this is a perfect workout for you to do. I'm gonna be increasing your fitness. These exercises are safe, they're fun, they're effective, and you can do this every single day. And right now, you are making your heart stronger, so let's just keep going. Fitness is for everyone. Fitness isn't about looking a certain way, it's about feeling a certain way, it's about feeling in your best health. All right, that's good. Just keeping that going till we complete that circle. So again now, let's take it back to doing your marching and you can just preview there, you can see the next move coming up. So this is where it's a little bit of hit training. We do the 40 seconds where we're working harder, then you've got your 15 seconds here where we're taking it a little bit more light recovery. So with this one, it's a really nice one. You're just gonna kick one leg over, to the side. So you do a couple of little marches and just follow along, add in the arms and you can just make that kick as powerful as you want. Just work to your ability. And also think of it like this, exercise is a celebration of showing you what your body can do. And just let's keep going. So we're gonna complete that circle again. And this one here, again, it's a total body because you're working the arm, you're working the legs. This is also really good for your core. And do definitely come and find me on my Facebook group. We've got a lovely community on there. All right, so let's bring it straight now back to your march again and have a look at the next move coming up. So the next one, we're gonna do four of these side steps. And then when you're ready, we're gonna bring in a hand move as well on there. All right, so this is gonna be really good for your coordination as well. So let's get ready, come into position, knees slightly bent and tap one foot out for four. And now take it to the other leg. And when you're ready, what you can do, once you've got used to the lower body movement, you can add 
the hand. That's good. And just going for four. And you should be proud because what you're doing right now is you are taking control of your physical and your mental health. So let's just keep that going. So it's four of those side taps and imagine you're doing four of those high fives. Keeping that going. All right, that's good. Nice control. And again here, this one is a lovely total body move. So let's bring it now back to your march. So we keep moving, so we're not stopping. We're keeping that heart rate up. Next move coming up, we're doing these power marches and then punches with the arms. So you can see at the left there, your next move coming up. And just keep moving your body. That's good. So let's get ready for your next exercise. So we're just gonna take it to that power march. Now really focus on keeping your upper body nice and straight for me. So you can really work your core here. And while you're doing this, what I want you to do is really pull your tummy muscles in as tight as you can. Keep that upper body so straight and really put some power behind those punches. The more often you do this workout throughout the next few weeks, because you could do this every day, you can punch those arms directly up to make it a little bit harder and don't let anything ever stop you from being the best version of yourself all right that's good keep going last little bit and well done on that move okay perfect so let's now take it back to your march preview the next move so the next one we're just doing a really lovely side step but just imagine you are swimming with your arms at the same time and just keep marching so you can see that little arrow on the timer bar down on the right. All right, so ready for our next move? Give me those side taps, tap that foot from one side to the other and imagine you are swimming with the arms. So if you wanna make this a little bit harder, take that bend a little bit deeper. That's good. And remember, you are so much stronger than you think. And this is where exercise really helps, not only just with our physical health, but it gives us that confidence, that ability to just get through a life. So let's just keep going, nice deep bends, and really feel that through the upper body. This one is lovely for your chest and back as well doing really well. So we are flying through this workout. So let's have a look at your next move. So this is the last one of the workout, then we take it to a nice cool down. So with this one, we're gonna do four of these knee drives, then you're gonna march 180 degrees to then face the opposite direction and do another four of those knee drives. So let's get ready. So we take arms up, knee drive, two and one. Now march it round and now take it back again and just keeping that going, that's good. And driving that knee up. And remember, the best gift we all have is our health and the health of our loved ones. So this is why the stronger you are, the more you can look after your health and then look after your loved ones as well. So let's just keep going. Think about the reasons we're here. This isn't about getting a six pack, this is just about getting in our best health. Drive that knee up, keeping that going, doing really well. And we have now completed that circle on there. So just keep marching on there. So what we're gonna do now, part three, I'm gonna lengthen your muscles and we're gonna do some stretching. So just follow along. We're just gonna take it really down that intensity and just give me a few of these little heel digs. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold it here now, hands are on your bent leg and just feel that stretch running through the back of the upper thigh. So what I'm doing now, I'm stretching through your hamstring. So this here prevents injury. It also really helps with things like posture. Now let's just go back and just give me a few more of those heel digs and now hold. And let's just now feel that through the opposite leg. And again, just lengthen. And it's really important to stretch the muscles after exercise. It helps to really realign your body. It helps prevent injuries as well. So this time now, let's just tap the foot behind, just push your arms out in front. So this is really now bringing your heart rate back down and keep that heel down on the foot behind, both feet are pointing forwards. So what we're doing now here, stretching through the, that's known as your gastrocnemius, the calf muscle. And the great thing is with stretching, it stops those muscles really bulking up because we're lengthening them. All right, that's it. And just tap that foot behind. And you can see here the timer bar, how long we're doing on these stretches. And it is important, always do this to the end to really make sure that we're gonna just stretch everywhere. And just feel that through the back of that lower leg muscle. 
and then coming up. And this time now, you might need to use your hand on a wall for balance. We're just gonna stretch your quadriceps. So that's the big long muscle runs down the front of the thigh. Make sure you're supporting knees slightly bent for me. And now take that to the opposite leg. And the great thing is with this workout, you can do this as often as you want. And at the end of the video, I've put together a playlist of I think over 15 different free at home workouts that are designed for beginners. So this is where you can start your fitness journey with me here as your qualified trainer. I've got so many workouts, blogs, everything all for free to keep you moving and keep you investing in your health. And do let me know in the comments down below if you are new to fitness and if you are now ready to have me as your online trainer to get you fit. Right, let's take that arm up and just feel the stretch through the back of the upper arm. That's good. And this is a really nice stretch here. And let's just take that to the other arm. And the great thing is from doing this workout today, you're gonna to have so much more energy, but also you've taken control of how you are feeling. So well done, you did it. There is your high five. And remember, keep investing in your future health because our health is our everything. I'll see you back on my YouTube channel tomorrow. And here are a series of free beginners workouts. So you can do one of these every single day. And do let me know how you're getting on and please share this video if you liked it.